In this video, we're going to have a look at the difference between partial functions and total functions. And I think one of the easiest way to look at this is by using a classic data structure, which is of course the array. Uh, so if I were to create uh, an array here with, I don't know, let's just go with three elements in it. Now, an array in Scala sort of masks the underlying um, simple data structure that's that it takes from, from Java. Um, but what we have is we have effectively a set of problems that comes up time and time again in a variety of languages, which is this problem of accessing elements which are outside of the available indices. So here my record has three um, values in it. So I've got three indexes, zero, one, and two. And we can go ahead and have a look at the values in here. So if we were to say, well, let's go with two for the start, and then let's log out that value. And give this a run. Then we get six, zero, one, two, it's the last element on here. Quite often, if you're looping though, uh, you find if you don't protect yourself, you end up running off uh, the end of the available indices and running into a problem where there isn't a value. And there we go. So we have our classic array index out of bounds exception. And if you think of this um, apply method uh, of our array, which is basically taking the index and then returning you uh, a value or exploding if there is no value, then you can think of this as a function. I mean, admittedly, we have this uh, object which sort of wraps and masks that data type, but this is what's happening. Um, we are effectively calling a function. It's the apply method, just to run, show you, still works, uh, which takes an int and then of course returns an element of type T, uh, where T is the uh, the data type the array is holding. So in this case, it's an int to int. Um, and this is a partial function. We know it's a partial function because we've just provided an input and there was no response. Th this function did not have a value for a, uh, an input that I provided it. And so by definition, this is a partial function. Partial function is a function that doesn't have a value for all the possible inputs. Um, Total functions are very different. Total functions always have a response to any possible input into them. And one of the cool things you can do, of course, is uh, there's a partial function uh, trait within Scala, which provides a lift method. Um, so anything that extends uh, or implements that uh, provides you with a method of, of lifting a partial function into the context of a total function and providing a response for all of the uh, possible uh, results or possible inputs rather so we can do this go with our two or effect our total so we're calling this lift method now you could see from the uh, the type there as I was uh, adding the in um, that what that's going to return us is a function of int to option of int and that's the trick that lift provides, right? Uh, lift always returns an option. Um, so it can always return you a result. Uh, it's just that the option will be a sum if there is a value there and it will be a none when it's not. So uh, if we'd uh, try the same thing here, we did earlier with our new array and provide it with an index that is off the end. Let's have a crack. And here, of course, instead of exploding, we get a result back, and that result in this case is none. Uh, if we were to drop it back to a, a value that is in the range, then of course, we now get our result of six, index two, zero, one, two, value six, but wrapped in the sum type. Uh, this is useful because it means you don't have to explicitly do checks um, like you would if it did run off the end. Um, so you can simply fold or you can do some pattern matching or whatever else with your optional type. 
Um, so just to show you what happens here, if we drill into a relift, and we can see we've got this A to option B, and it returns this new lifted of, of itself. And if we pop up, you can see that this is actually implemented on that partial function trait that I described earlier. So that's basically it. Um, we have a really nice way of working with uh, uh, functions that would return us results that aren't total or aren't complete um, by lifting them into that uh, particular type and giving us the protection of the option.